the puzzle shit with Jerish here. Well, first of all, uh, you special are waiting for this because uh, what I said, this is the first terrible game from our side. He did not deserve to win, it's quite simple. Denmark had today the better side. Too much pressure probably on our team. Uh, again, when you complain about this game, I can agree with you, but before that, it was nonsense what you said. But today, uh, we were far from our normal form, and then you lose 3-1. Despite you scored 1-0, and until that moment it was okay from our side. We, we had the opportunity to score a 2-0, but after that it was the one, one team who played, and it was Denmark. Beside that, I agree with you that uh, I'm responsible for this, this team. It's quite simple. So you cannot blame all us. If, if you want to blame somebody, you have to blame me. Because I put the players on the pitch. And, uh, so in that way, your final question was about uh, if I have to think about my resignation. So I will, I will think about that. Čini se da je nekdo posljednje interesantno pitanje za vas. I da, loši smo igrali noćas. Nismo zaslužili nikako da pobedimo. Danske je bilo svemu boja reprezentacije. Očekujemo da je naša reprezentacija pod velikim pritiskom i pritiscima. Ako pričamo samo o večerašnjoj utaknici i načinu na koji smo igrali, ja se slažem sa vama, ali sve ostalo na čemu se bazira kako ovo vaš kapitetno pitanje je nonsens. Znači smo bili daleko od igre, daleko od gola, daleko od pogode. Kad smo poveli 1 prema 0, na početku to je izgledalo dobro, imali smo šansu i za drugi gol. Međutim, posle toga na terenu je postojao samo jedan tim, a to je reprezentacija Danske. Pitate što se tiče vašeg drugog završnog pitanja, ko je odgovoran? Ja sam odgovoran za ovaj tim, zato što sam ja poslao ovaj igrača na teren i rekao im šta da igraju u tom cilju. Na osnovu vašeg posljednog pitanja kazat ću vam da ću razmisliti o ostacima u daljem statusu. I agree with that, so that's quite simple. I cannot say that uh, we did well defensively as a team, but uh, it, is, it is quite simple. It starts in principle after Albania. The fine we have get that is not really positive for all of us. Uh, you have to do it in your home games. In the three home games, the first one you lost already against Albania, and then you get two other home games without crowd. Yeah. Well, normally, in a home game, you have to make your points. But today, there was so much pressure, pressure on that team to win. Yeah, okay, that was not positive. Well, I took this job with a reason, and uh, the reason was that uh, I had a feeling about the squad that we were able to qualify. And after everything that happened in the last couple of months with the punishment of UEFA, you put everybody on, on the pressure, and uh, I think we have to be fair, and I have to be fair to discuss this with, uh, with uh, the people from the Federation about this issue. This is quite simple. It, it has not to do with our team. It has to do with the game against Albania and the punishment from the UEFA. Plus the way we play today, because the pressure was by the players and probably everybody it was too high to get a good game. Yeah. No, but we played four games the last one game, and 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 the, and the problem is we, we 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 cannot do it better against Albania because if you win Albania, if but with if you cannot do anything. But at that moment, something something is broken, in my opinion. So this, this is an, uh, a terrible start. But that has not only to do with the players. In my opinion, yeah, he was injured, the same like uh, uh, Koki, Kolov, Kolov was injured, Nastasic could not play, so he had to change uh, to play for the back four. I think so, yeah. Congratulations to Denmark, thank you very much.